Hello, great people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. We are so excited to have you again. Still updating you on what is going on in Nigeria's political space, our political atmosphere. Don't forget, we are five months down the line to the presidential uh, election, which will be coming up in the month of February 2023. And right now, the political parties are working assiduously. Yes, we know that it's going to be starting on uh, in the month of September. But then, based on what is happening, fears, there are a lot of fears here, and especially as it has to do with the third force called Labour Party. And uh, with the level of strength we are seeing Peter will be exuding and the level of followership he's having is causing a lot of confusion and some persons are mopping up new ideas on how to go after him, how to talk down on his followers and how to frustrate him. And the followers are also not ready to back down. Now, a case of uh, Ade and Ju came up where he ended up calling Peter Obi uh, a lot of names because for me, that's a lot of names he's calling Peter Obi. Peter Obi, number one, um, for many, for as many that are following him, he doesn't even know some of them. They followed him not because they are paid to follow him, but they believe he has the capacity to fix Nigeria economic situation. And that's why they are ardently following him. But guess what? These guys are talking as if Peter Obi is the one that groomed these guys and tell them to say what they say, tell them to act the way they act, tell them to do everything that they're doing. But I think that at this point, Peter Obi needs not to be shaken. What did Ade Anju said? He said that Peter Obi is breeding terrorists in the name of running for presidency. Man, that's a big, a huge one when it comes to name calling. How would you say such? You know, it's totally wrong. Where did you get that from? He went further to say that people who threaten fellow citizens with death in the name of politics then proceed to insulting those who criticize their action and also double down with more propaganda, lies, and fake news. Where did you get the fake news from? From Peter Obis come how? They said it was holding in Calabar and we are having millions of people walk down the street of Calabar to show their support for Peter B. Was it not weakness? Didn't you see it? So where are you bringing up the fake news and everything that you're talking about? Where are the lies coming from? I mean, for me, Ade Yanju has done that which I would say is totally wrong. His claims are not right at all. Guess what? As I'm talking to you, there are other people who are supporting good governance, who have been threatened. We, there's a case of this guy, um, Macaroni, Mr. Macaroni. Macaroni also came up and opened up on how they are trying to force him to support a particular political party. And they are now threatening his family. He said it. Talking about Mr. Macaroni, I'm going to just share a little of what he said with you guys. And... Uh, just to tell you that this whole thing we are talking about is happening everywhere. Macaroni has not really come out to say, I am obedient, you know. But based on what he is saying, he is in support of good governance. The right person is what he wants. Now, he wrote this. He said, I went to visit my mother two weeks ago and I was giving out money to some people in the neighborhood, as I always do. Anytime I go there, I a woman walk up to me and asks why I, why am I against a particular candidate? That happened, I think it should be in Lagos. He said, I said, I am not against anyone. All I want is for a better country. And that can only happen when we vote in good leaders. The next thing she said is that I should better watch myself because they know where my people live. I asked if that was a threat, and she continues saying all sorts. My sister and manager away with me and i have a video i can go on and on about different threats that i have received from some party members or supporters of a, a presidential candidate because they somehow believe that i am against their choice cyberbullying via different online attacks and tribal propaganda there is so much dishonesty going on and it gets worse by the day but my message will never change nigerians have suffered enough look around you and look at the serious challenges we are facing as a people. There is no desire anywhere, however, to stand a chance for a better nation. Come 2023, we must elect the most suitable option to occupy position of leadership in the country. 
we must individually analyze these candidates by examining their past records, their current state of mind, their capacity and capability vis-à-vis -vis the respective positions they wish to occupy. Do your research and vote for the right candidate. I rest my case for now. That was what he said. And I'm 100% sure that the people who are threatening him and threatening his household can never be bitter or be scam. It's actually from the other political party. So when you're saying that uh, Peter B is raising terrorists and all of that, it's totally out of place. You know, it's it's wrong to research um, a decision about Peter B. Then let's just also look at some of the Baha that is going on right now. I'm going to share a video, um, not a video, an audio this time around with you about uh, some of the discussions that are going on you know, in Tinibu's camp, and it's a pointer to the fact that the level of support the youths are showing for, you know, um, Peter Obi is already distorting a lot of things. They may claim that nothing is happening, that it's just four boys who are sitting in one room to chunk out, uh, you know, tweets on Twitter, and all of that we are seeing on the social media is only happening in the street of social media you know these guys can lie to themselves but guess what it's disturbing them you're going to be listening to this um audio and i'll be back to, to share with you some other relevant things that are happening which already it's sending some kind of fears i'm just wondering what 2023 election will look like i pray that god will keep us alive Till we watch how the right person will be enthroned as Nigeria's number one person. Listen to the audio. I'll be back for us to talk more on what is really. I say, forget all those people on social media. Don't mind them. Forget them. Politics is local. No. Peter OB is doing a lot because he understands the power of media. And that is what we're asking the Tinubu uh, campaign to bring in more media uh, resources. Come into the media, bring in more media fundings, invest in the media for 2023. Continue uh, looking at the media. Take the media seriously. Not two weeks to election. Not two days to election. Not one week to election. And then... Uh, come in. Uh, uh, go I mean, uh, Bishop, let yes, me sir. come here. Please, mm -hmm. if you want to call me, when you call, lower the one you are using to watch me. When you mm. call and uh, we are hearing that, we, we can't say anything. We don't, we don't intend to be here forever. Mm. Concerning the media aspect of it, you, it's not us that we advise a tunable campaign. Mm. They should know better. Uh, the reason why I am saying all this right now, uh, according to Osamende, uh, he said the Tunubu have one, more than one million people that <laughs> is that, 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 that one. I more saw it. I was million. laughing. I saw that right up. I was laughing. Okay. Maybe they have more than one million uh, social media page in their list that they are going to give money. But we are not okay. seeing the. We are not even seeing yeah. hundred. On we are not seeing the effect. We, we are not seeing even seeing thirty. We are not seeing thirty. No. You know, no. Opinion is completely everywhere. Because everywhere is everywhere. It's only it's by true. the grace of God we survive it. It's true. Opinion is everywhere. Let, let's call it. Social media make Peter Obi what it is today. Peter Obi yeah. is not rushing Nigerians. Nigerians mm. are rushing Peter Obi. Are rushing him. Mm. Are rushing and then the Russian. Like and then the Russian. A couple of months ago, mm. if care is not taken, if care is not taken, people will be surprised. What we have. Asia uprising started with social media. That yes. has become a last friend. I it's see true. Nigerian politicians. They are just, they think they are, they are just saying that they will be follower are inconsequential. It's a lie.